Well, I want to show you this tandem. This is this is a modern upstyle tandem. Look at that. He's got the gaiters on it. He's got disc brakes. He's locked in in pedals and his little co-pilot back here in the back, she's locked in with it. Got disc brakes on the back. Wow. Good looking bike. That's just some of what I've seen today. Grab this water for a second. Oh, this is my second lap. Today's pretty. The wind seems to be blowing out of the west a little bit. Not as bad as 13, 14 miles an hour, but it's, I imagine it's about six miles an hour. Well, I show you these clouds. Look at that. All right. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I, I'm going to shoot for one more lap. That would be three. So that give me 62. I may go for the 77, but I, I'll let you know what I feel like when I get there. The fellow that owns that bike is sitting right here. Hey, buddy. Hey, man. He was telling me that bike been to Europe. It been, been it to is. It, uh, when we retired three years ago now, we uh, took it and uh, over three months we traveled 2,000 miles. France and Switzerland and Germany and the Netherlands. Oh, wow. How was it getting it on a plane? Well, it comes apart. If you look, it's got couplers on it. Oh. It'll actually pack into uh, two standard size suitcases. No kidding. Yeah. I see the coupler now that you said that. So the frame just kind of breaks in half. Yeah, three pieces. It's like putting a jigsaw puzzle together, but it goes in. Yeah. Airline, uh, you still had to pay a little probably. No, standard suitcase. So Standard suitcase, so you got it on. Yeah, All right. just checked it. Cool. You planning any big trips like that lately? Uh, no. Not, not this year. Okay. We'll see what happens down the road. I've thought about France, so give somebody that's a novelist. Are them mountains big? Well, it depends on where you go. If you get into the uh, kind of the northern side of France, mm -hmm. northern, and I guess that would be eastern side, it gets kind of mountainy. We uh, when we went, we started in Paris and rode out to the Normandy coast, and it got kind of hilly there. But then we took a train over to uh, the Loire Valley, the Loire River, and we rode up the river all the way, and then from there we just hopped on over to Switzerland, so we didn't really ride any mountains in France. I'm from Mississippi where it's flat. Are these big hills here in, in Missouri on my path, you know where I'm, you know well, where I ride? These aren't big hills. These aren't big hills. They hey. kick, they kick my butt though. Uh, last week I was down in Arkansas. Hey, some big hills there, there ain't some they? Some big hills. We were, we were doing a little gravel to a couple of guys and I. And, uh, mm -hmm. So you got a gravel bike. I do. You got a dirt bike. Well, no, they, they call them a, what do they call it? <laughs> mountain bike. You got a mountain uh, I've bike. I've got a mountain bike, but I'm not very good on that. Yet. Do you have a road bike? Nope. You got a time trial bike? No. Nope. But you got this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's the funnest bike I've got, actually. Okay. How long you had a gravel bike? Um, six or seven or eight years. Wow. Which bike you count? You've had it for a pretty good while. You know, when I first came into this area six, seven years ago, eight years ago, when I first started riding around here, there was a lot more people on the road. But now, more people in the last two years have bought gravel bikes, and I don't see them anymore. No, I can, I can believe that. Uh, I've never owned a gravel bike, but it, what, it, what's, it, what's the advantage? You're just riding on gravel roads with no traffic, absolutely? There is absolutely no traffic. There is prettiness and no congestion, and uh, there's all kinds of good stuff out there. And do, do, somebody asked me the question, are the roads real rutted up or are they just they keep them work with a... Well, it depends on where you go, buddy. 
Depends. That's a big question, ain't it? All right, well, I'm gonna have to interview you later, and we're gonna do some research and talk about these gravel roads, cause I ain't seen hardly any. Oh, you haven't been in the right place. I ain't been, I ain't been looking good yet, ever. No, they got, Green County doesn't have very many at all. Okay. You know, get out here in Webster County. And, Webster. Uh, uh, out toward Portland area. Uh huh. There's just some. What about areas. Seymour out that way, where them Amish are? Yeah, I've been there. <laughs> okay. Thanks for talking to me. You bet. I think he said it was a 1952. He's got it painted that rusted color. Or maybe that's the natural patina on it. Interesting. Yeah, I will. Is, uh, um, is the paint, or you just got it just natural? That's, that's natural. That's the paint that was on it from the back. Oh, you got Cadillac seats. You know you know <laughs> when you're doing good, you got Cadillac seats. Oh, look at that interior. That is nice. Pretty much all original. Yeah, except it's sitting on a 2001 Chevy S10 drivetrain. So it's got a fuel injected V6. Fuel injected V6. Automatic five speed control. So I can cruise at 70 with the AC on, windows up. Yeah. Wow, that's nice. Thank you for showing it to me, oh, man. You're Appreciate it.